Hello everyone. After posting the Catherine Kulmin's video, there have been few people who came up and said, "Why do you bother to post about a woman who lived back in the 90s and what she taught and all of that? You know, all these are a uh, waste of time. Stop making such nonsense videos because there's a lot of work to do and you preach the gospel." But it is really important for us to trace back and see who she was, what she did, or anybody for that matter, because. Catherine Kulman and East Three. She was very famous in the last century, 19th century. Then, who a part a part a kunda ne, who a vakya mo prasangin cha kunda ne. Yen to mandi swasthato pundaran mata. You know how much Catherine Kulman has affected my life. Catherine Kulman and Jepe se who a Three ne, Prabhu Chala Balanga Marivar ne, Prabhu Wardu kunne. Catherine Kulman and Vappa Daiva Janurala Guru Jine no ka mata cha divano. This is a reaction video to powerful ministry moments. of Miss Catherine Coleman and the woman I'm going to be talking about her name Miss Catherine Coleman Catherine Coleman oka goppa daiva janral goppa aatmiralu aame parishuddhaatma poornuralu Catherine Coleman ne kaha mere paas koi bada vishwas nahi hai mere paas ek chhota sa vishwas hai jo maine ek bahut bade parmeshwar pe rakha hai कैथरिन कुलमेन को जवानी लग गई प्लान समझने में और बुढ़ापे में जाके यूज हुई कैथरिन कुलमेन इज जस्ट स्पीकिंग टू मी यू मे से ओह आई एम अ वुमन आई कैन बी यूज्ड बाय गॉड हु इज कैथरिन कुलमेन इज शी इज अ वुमन द गॉस जनरल एवरी मूवमेंट ट्रू और फॉल्स हैज अ हिस्ट्री इन कैथरिन कुलमेन्स केस वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस वेरी क्लियरली बिकॉज़ be it sister amy which i've done in the first episode or sister catherine kulman they both played a very prominent role i've even read to you about what the charismatic and the pentecostal dictionary says about them so these two women are very prominent especially catherine kulman because they changed the course or she changed the course of how they worked or what they taught the words charismatics and pentecostalism both these words can be used interchangeably because the charismatic movement grew out of the same roots or like the teachings of pentecostalism in simplified ways we can say that charismatic people or pentecostals refers to any group of people who have a different view about the baptism of the holy spirit who seek to practice all spiritual gifts which are mentioned in the new testament including prophecies healings miracles uh, modern day tongues interpretations and uh, distinguishing between the spirits deliverance and all of that and they also believe that modern day prophets and apostles exist and uh, there is a hierarchy in their um, movement in their uh, teachings and in their setup that they have So when we look back into the history and when we compare what is happening in these present times like I've shared with you in the videos name calling is something that Catherine Kulman has started denying yourself and uh, linking it to you know god possessing our body is something that Catherine Kulman has started sister Amy has started few things so if we do not understand the history of what these people have done how will we know what is happening in these present times so when we talk to our friends when we talk to people around us and we are trying to tell them about how god would want to show himself and would want to operate in these present times we can easily help them understand and explain if we know the history of the people and the movements and their teachings not just about sister amy and catherine kulman for that matter the holiness groups the shakers you can even watch our episode on the case study of the gift of tongues that how uh, the tongues have been started again like you know from the shakers the azusa street and all of that so on and so forth so we see that it is always important for us to look back into the history be it smith wigglesworth or charles finney william burnham all these people are so prominent and so important people in these so called charismatic and pentecostal movements and it is very important for us to know what they taught so that we can weigh and see what preachers false prophets and false apostles are teaching in these present times and understand that this is not something new that they are doing they are just imitating their predecessors so any moment we need to understand any movement any movement 
true or false has a history and it is very important for us to go back and see where it all started from does it have the biblical roots does the new testament church work and function in the way that these people are working and how did the modern day 21st century church drift away from the pattern of the new testament church so all this we can understand only when we look back into the history study about people study about their teachings and weigh the truth with the word of god so that we might be able to witness to our friends who are caught up in these false movements so is history important definitely yes because currently when you see the popular trend like you know the popular false prophets or people who are in the charismatic movements like bethel bill johnson randy clark Benny Hinn, Stephen Furtick, Joyce Meyer or Sid Roth and uh, so many other people. Now, all these people look at Miss Catherine Kuhlman as their inspiration. Few of them interviewed her and uh, we know how much Mr. Benny Hinn loves Catherine Kuhlman. So, in many instances uh, there are even uh videos which show that Benny Hinn and all these other people Heidi Baker and all of them are like treat her as a woman of god and they talk about her teachings and her life of denial and her spirit filled lives so when we look at these people who are currently teaching all these teachings and then when we come to india and look at the other false prophets who are carrying forward the same legacy basically like name calling fake healings calling themselves as prophets and apostles and uh, giving deliverance messages and telling that you're demon possessed or speaking about generational curses and all of these false teachings you see nobody is doing it alone they are not single handedly doing it it is not some divine special revelation that god has revealed to them separately we need to understand that all of this everything which is happening has a beginning and unless we trace back and see who started it how did it start you know catherine kulman also was not the first person to start like you know few things she also has imitated somebody so it's always about imitation so it's very important for us to trace back and look and understand the history and the roots that these movements start from for us to get a clear understanding of what the word of god says and how god has established the new testament church in these times and how we are to stand upon the truth of the word of god rather than being swayed away by every wind of doctrine